Good morning students myself Mrs Myra Sheikh your English one teacher has come up with a new lesson video you must be knowing the name of the next lesson students your next lesson's name is your own book of science you may come across simple but amazing science experiments in the newspaper magazines supplements or in on the internet collect any five to eight experiments you like ask your parents or teachers whether the experiments are safe then carry out the experiments if necessary take the help of your parents or teachers record the experiments on a separate sheet of paper in your own book of science an example is given below a simple experiment of lifting eyes students can you hold eyes with a string no students you can hold eyes with a string in the given method for that you will require ice cubes a string or a thread and common salt Now what do you need to do You will need to have place the strings on the ice cubes in the way it is mentioned in the image Now you need to sprinkle some salt on the thread where the ice cubes have been placed on You need to wait for the ice to melt now Now next what do you think students will happen will the ice melt no it won't melt instead it will freeze again and that too will happen with the string you will think why that's because salt water has a lower melting point Did you see this students isn't this amazing you can see with the help of the thread the ice cubes can be lifted you can try this experiment at home as well with the help of your parents we now move ahead to our next page puzzles in your surroundings students have you ever thought about what is hail and why does it hail only in summers in summer we feel very hot the sun shines brightly and the temperature is high and then suddenly there are clouds in the sky and it starts raining not just water but even small balls of ice we say it has started hailing the small balls of ice are called hail stones but students have you thought why does it hail in hot summer season that is because as we move up from the land the temperature begins to fall up in the sky it is very cold even in the hot season you knew now know that there are water particles in the clouds that we see in the sky very high up in the sky the water particles in the clouds turn into little bits of ice sometimes the very strong winds push these little bits of ice upward so they do not fall onto the ground they go up and collect more water particles which freeze onto them thus the little balls get bigger and bigger they turn into hailstones the heavy hailstones then fall to the ground in the form of a shower you can see how big these balls have been become now students their size goes on increasing and then they begin start sinking an image has been shown to you very tiny hailstones melt 
before they reach the ground they turn into raindrops that is called rain but some hailstones reach the ground before they melt the bigger the stone the more the pressure of the stone falls onto the ground and the smaller the stone the sooner it starts melting and the drops are converted and then it falls down onto the ground a light shower of hail can be great fun but hailstones can cause great damage to the crops plants and the animals once the grains reach the bottom of the cloud the wind blows them back upward more water drops stick to them now this procedure students goes on continuing goes on happening until the clumps of ice grow too heavy to float and fall to the ground that's what we call as hailing or hail some hail stones can reach the size of a soccer ball too now students we go ahead with this chapter maharashtra was hit by a series of hail stones that means a large amount of hail stones in the year 2014 the hail stones devastated it means it destroyed thousands of acres of standing crops fruit crops were also ruined ruined means completely devastated completely destroyed birds and animals were killed and injured in large numbers farmers suffered heavy losses so farmers also had a big loss during that time because the main crops the fruits everything was all destroyed it was a great natural calamity students you may have many puzzles that you have answered in the past now you can note down at least 10 some questions on the basis of your observation of things and events that happen in your surrounding a few examples are given below where do flowers get their color from students where do the leaves get their green color from and why are they only green in color mostly why do the chopping of an onion make you cry you might notice at home your mother might be cutting an onion which brings tears in your eyes as well have you thought why that happens note each question down on a separate page in your book of science draw suitable pictures or paste the related photographs on that page try to find the answers to your questions with the help of your parents your teachers or your friends make use of social science journals and reference books to find the answers you may find the answers even on the internet with the permission and the guidance of your parents guardians or teachers browse through the informative websites students this procedure you will follow under the supervision of your parents only you may find some of the answers you need in your textbooks as well or in other informative books note down the answers on the relevant pages when you have collected a few experiments and answers to your questions put them all together in your very own book of science i hope you have understood this lesson students now request everyone to kindly subscribe to our channel to avail further notifications thank you and have a nice day